I'm feeling a little bummed out to be honest like a little bit of a d disappointing end to the vacation but where are we going to the beach to the beach we're on vacation last minute plan we decided to take this little fur ball with us because you know what we're gonna miss you we're gonna miss you if we leave you yeah we love you car is fully loaded I feel like we have to bring so much stuff because bedding and things anyway car is packed camera ready to rock all you need is two more people we're gonna go high five me bro Woo! I'm excited you got cheesies in your hair already vacation mode hey kid you getting excited yeah but she's scared oh she doesn't like car rides but she'll be okay we'll make do hey guys so we're off on our road trip I'm so excited we're taking about five days I'm just gonna spend time with our family and like just do fun things can't wait Get in the big pig area. Look at the giant pig! What do you think? <laughs> Good. Gotta stop for the photo. Where are you hiding? Come here! This little muffin. So Nora was just really sick all over me, which is kind of gross. Anyway, we're just driving through Stratford right now. Um, we're very close. It's only about just a couple hours drive from where we live, um, but you got to stop and like let everybody stretch their legs and all those good things. But it is a glorious day, and I'm so pumped because when we looked at the weather, it was supposed to be rainy and cloudy the whole entire week and like 20 degrees. So. I can handle this. This is beautiful. We might even go straight to the beach, so we'll see. There's a little playhouse. So we've just arrived at our rental, and this is actually an Airbnb rental, and we've done lots of these around the world, so I'm a big fan, despite all the negativity about them on the internet. Bah humbug. This place is so cute. I actually think it's just been renovated. Let me show you the inside. So you come in the side door, Nice big open space, you've got the TV, lounge area. I'm pretty sure that turns into a sofa bed. Of course, we've already taken over, but it's all like toys and games. Nice fireplace, then this is the kitchen. Stock with cute husband. Yeah, vacation. So we're just unloading, but how nice is this? You've got three stools on this side, three stools on that side. Fully stocked, like it's got everything that you need. All the cutting boards, all the things. Toasters, plates, adorable water bottles, like amazing. We've got some ribs, we're gonna have some ribs for dinner. Stove, all the things in the backyard. <clears throat> so cute, check this out. Little fire pit, little bench. Nice area to sit. Okay, come, come Nora. They obviously have their own little area to store things. Then you have the front door over here. And look at these nice, the floor is all nicely done. There's our little pooch kabooch. Um, got the nice sitting area in the front, little front deck. Come out here in the morning, have a cup of coffee. Really nice little spot. Come here, baby. Nora has made herself at home. Let's see what she's investigating here. All right, you come around the corner here, and you've got the bathroom over here. Very nice bathroom, big tub, Clean this fully stocked. I mean, this looks I brand new. Look at this grout. That grout is fresh. Hello. I cleaned this because it fell in the dirt. Well, it fell in the dirt. Thanks, Esme. And like most Airbnbs, you really have to bring your own stuff. Check this out. Yeah, that's Mama's. They stocked it with beautiful linens, and I mean, I brought all our own stuff, but still. Okay, then here's bedroom number one. I should mention, this is not sponsored. I'm just so excited that this place isn't a dump, because that's the thing with some Airbnbs. They can be total crap. Okay, there's this bedroom. We're testing out the <laughs> comfiness of this bed. Oh, that's definitely a bouncy, firm bed. You see, this is all the linens that I brought. I guess I don't need them. Um, and then here's Esme and Jack's room. How nice! I am so happy right now. This is gonna be an amazing week. Like, this place brings me a lot of calm. I can already feel it. 
I'm so pumped. We're just getting ready. We're gonna pack up and head over to the beach. It's literally like down the street, you walk down a path and there's a beach, or you could drive to a bigger beach. So we're gonna see what the kids are up to. Can't even wait. We have found a frog. Here, I'll come down here in case he jumps. At least he can land on the grass. Okay, let's see. Wait, I want to get my camera too. Jesus. Okay. Camera moment. I know. Let's see. Oh, ah! Get him! <laughs> Fly away, frog. He's so cute. What do we name him? Freddy? Freddy frog. There's another one. Oh, no. What is that? That's a cricket. Got him? Yeah, My him. daughter, she's a frog hunter. <laughs> Just <laughs> chasing that frog. Hey, baby tree. Whoa. <laughs> Who wants to read a book with that lady? After I wake up, and after I get out of bed. We're building our castle here. We've got a little moat. And we're putting rocks on the top of it, because guess what? He can do that by himself. And here's our little beach hut. Gorgeous day. Here it is, in action. It costs us like $5. Sweet. And there they are in the water. Today there's a lot of this murky, ugh, murky seaweed. See all this brown stuff just feels really gross, hence the water shoes. Hi! But this is Lake Huron. So beautiful, glorious, sunny, it's just lovely. Oh, Look at this perfect stone. It's actually a dinosaur egg. Yeah, it it's the quaintest yeah. little neighborhood. It's so cute. It's a mixture of people with cottages and then people who live here full time. I'm gonna hold this baby. Come here, I'll hold you. Let's go get, someone's getting a little bit sleepy. I'm sleepy. You sleepy, you wanna go home and watch, wanna go to the forest house and watch a movie? Yeah. Let's go. Well, I wanna go watch Murph. Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, did you have a good day today? No. Um, wait. I like the dark garden monster. It's too scary for me. It is a bit scary. Can I have a smooch? It's too scary because I want a good one. All right. But because... Well, it's the quaintest little neighborhood. I am seriously loving life. We're just on Lake Huron, by the way. Anyway, up we go. Up we go. <gasps> you want to run? Our house is just there on the corner. Ready? Up we go! Up we go! Up we go! Up we go! Oh, okay, come. Let's go. My favorite thing is to go for a walk after dinner and just, I don't know, just in the summer, even in the winter, I like to do it actually. So my heart, it's very full right now. Day three, kids are got the rule of the roost. So we're gonna do a little bit of yoga, Dean and I. Dean's been joining me for some morning yoga practice. We gotta be kind of close to the house because the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna do a little bit of yoga. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Oh, beautiful. So nice. Esme made a beautiful cup of flowers. Mommy. Oh, there we go. I love yoga. You. I love you too. Yoga done. 
Well, that was nice. Dean joined me for a little morning yoga. We did it right on the front lawn of this place. People probably think we're nuts, but who cares? It feels nice. I notice um, I really like doing something in the morning, especially something energizing. So we did, this was an energizing weight loss yoga. I can't remember the, different than yoga with Adrian, but still really good. I actually got quite, hi, hi got my blood pump in here. So I had to take off my long sleeve shirt, but it was great. And the sun's starting to come out which means I think we're gonna have a pretty awesome beach day ahead of us and I'm super pumped. It's incredible. Beautiful day. We're going on a holiday to meet the sun and dodge the rain. Let's hope the weather stays nice. I've got a swimsuit in my bag, factor 15 in my hand. Let's hope the weather stays nice. Summer songs are playing in my Isn't that Cool. Looks like a dinosaur. You want a picture? Looks like a dinosaur egg. I like it. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Bye. Wasn't that cool? This lady was out here on the beach earlier, and she did this herself. I tell you, that takes some skill. Unfortunately, Esme, what happened this morning when we woke up? What does it smell like outside? Pig poop. Pig poop. So there must be a farm really close by to where we're staying. And honestly, like all of us are just burned in our nostrils of pig feces. Oh, horrible. But, but they're spreading it on the farmer's field for fertilizer. Yeah. That's what is making it smell so bad. Usually pig farms. They're not that bad. No, but the, so anyway, we spoke to another woman who's on the road and she's like, yeah, that farmer's spreading his own pig feces on his field. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway, so we need it out. So we're out for the day, but now we're a little bit like frustrated because what we did is we extended, we were supposed to leave tomorrow, which is Friday, um, but the place turned out to be oh, really Friday. awesome. Right, so originally it was supposed to be tomorrow, but then the owners of the Airbnb were out, were like, well, you know what? Oh, I want to get pictures of that. Um, when it's not raining, but they extended our stay, gave us a discount. We're like, sure, this is awesome. But now, with the pig smell, I'm not so sure we want to stay. So anyway, we're gonna see how it goes. It's raining and we're all hoping that it just drowns out the smell and like, I don't know, does something. Wish us luck. Rainy day activity. I know, it's just her playing. I need to use the bumper because I got one. Okay, so I'm officially losing. Like, they're all beating me. I have other skills, okay? How are you doing? You having fun? Cute shoes. Having fun.
Well, we've just arrived home and I've just cleaned out the car with Dean's help. Everything's out. And I'm feeling a little bummed out, to be honest. Like, a little bit of a disappointing end to the vacation, but, but I'm trying this new thing where I'm just like, being grateful. So it's like, hold on here. You got four days of vacation. Three were beautiful and sunny. That's more than most people get to do. So it's like, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful. Um, and focus on the positive a little bit. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, and I think first stop is a shower because I'm looking a little rough. So let's do that. And also, I must admit, my personality gets a little bit meh. When it's like, when it's raining and cloudy like this, I do get a little bit down. So I'm just gonna do things that I like, that make me happy, and that's that. Okay, let's carry on. Off on a little adventure. I just had to get out of the house. I didn't want to stay there anymore, you know? So there's a beach, you can rent some boats. We might be able to rent a boat, so that should be fun. Might not. I see it! See the lake! Let's go check it out. Ooh, it's a bit cool today. I feel like I should have brought a sweatshirt. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay. Nice. You guys are so cute. Are you hiding in there? Oh. <laughs> it's a bit cool today. I really I just couldn't get one. Well, here we sit, evening, Sunday evening. And I've been wearing a hat all day, can you tell? <laughs> wearing a hat all day, so I've got some major hat hair, but um, it was a good day. Uh, I feel like I'm coming out of my funk, which is really good. So basically, we got home on Thursday. Friday was a hard day. I was feeling so, literally so sad and disappointed that my vacation got cut short. Like, so choked. I'm quite surprised, to be honest, how low I felt. Like, I think I was really looking forward to the break. So that was surprising. So Friday was rough. Yesterday, Saturday was like mediocre rough. I was feeling like I need to get out of this house. First of all, the house was just like upside down. Stuff was everywhere and I wanted out. I had no motivation to do any of it. I just, I just needed to leave the house. I will say though, I did work out through all of this and I think that was my saving grace. So this morning I woke up I had a nice cup of coffee, sun was shining finally. It's been really overcast and cloudy and just, ugh, off and on rain showers. Like what, where's summer, you know? So after my coffee, I had a water. Dean and I did a good 30 minute yoga session and it just rejuvenated. Like honestly, I felt so good. Um, then I cleaned the whole house top to bottom. I mean, deep cleaned the bathrooms, I did the floors, I swept, I did all the stuff that I like to do, clean all the counters. And when I clean, I also am tidying, right? So like I put everything away. So everything feels so good. Anyways, I've got my coffee here right beside me and um, the kids are just having a little snack downstairs and then it'll be time for bed. So that's that, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this week in the life. Um, it truly was Monday through Sunday, so that's like a real week. Yeah, anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you. And oh, what I wanted to say, for those of you that like the vlogs, um, my plan is to be more consistent with a weekly vlog and of course a day in the life um, where I do one like every four weeks. There will certainly be a week, like a weekly vlog kind of thing because um, I know that there's so many of you that really love seeing the day to day and the mom stuff that I get into um, and you don't really see that so much in my other content. So just know that I haven't forgotten about you and I will um, definitely make a point to do a week in the life every month for sure. So, okay guys, that's it. I'm rambly rambly. It's like three straight minutes of talking. Okay guys, I have to go reheat my coffee because it got cold. I was taking out some of the garbage. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video.